Today we are honored to have as our first speaker, Professor Dr. Shoykot Moitro, the Honorable Vice Chancellor of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad University of Technology. Sir, if you could please share your views on today's topic with us. Okay, good morning to all my uh, co-panelists, uh, Dr. D.K. Ghosh, Dr. Sanjay Muthal, Professor R.P. Banerjee. Uh, it's a uh, privilege for me to uh, express my views on this post-corona transformation on education and work. And uh, this, is, this has become a, a topic uh, discussed at different uh, uh, forums and different webinars for, uh, for the last two, three months. But still, it needs to be uh, discussed further because there are lots of uncertainty, lots of uh, confusion, lots of ambiguity. Uh, this, this is associated uh, with the perception of education, uh, what is going to happen in uh, either in uh, with COVID or after COVID situation. So let me uh, express my views in that. What we are seeing that uh, this situation probably uh, it, uh, it may persist for some more time. One report was published uh, at uh, Harvard Medical Review a few days before that uh, the social distancing or physical distancing, social distancing people are not, uh, people do not want to use them. Uh, physical distancing may be continued, may be allowed to continue for uh, some more times. Probably one to after, even um, for one to two years more, we have to continue this uh, social distancing, these norms and all these things. And what we're seeing, uh, studying the uh, statistics and curves of uh, these uh, ca cases of infections and all these things, it is st uh, still uprising. So my view is uh, within this situation, we have to continue our all the existing practices for running education, running our business and all these things. Temporarily, uh, uh, there was a, you know, this disruption and we had to pull back and uh, we had to watch on the situation, but slowly and slowly we are settling. We are uh, pulling our all uh, wisdom, our all, uh, you know, these uh, perceptions, our experiences together to find out solution from different angles. So let us look at this uh, business, which uh, because I want to focus on professional and technical education. And that, that will be more justified for me to say, uh, though education is, uh, this has you know, this uh, uh, vast connotation and vast, you know, this, uh, uh, this diversity, but I would like to focus on this uh, technical and professional education. And it is related to industry and market. And if we look at this industry scenario uh, and market scenario, uh, you can see certain kinds of industries, uh, they, they, uh, they are always uh, shielded and protected and they will do all, uh, whatever the situation is and certain, there will be upshards in certain, in certain kind of industry also. For example, in medical science related, uh, you know, these uh, industries, uh, there, uh, there was a steady demand and there has been a demand and there will be more demand. So courses and programs related to that, that will have, I know, this uh, more takers and more demand in the, in the near future. Medical science, medical technology, healthcare management, hospital management, these subjects will be of tremendous demand. You can see that right now you can see the demand is very high and in near future the demand there is no sign of decrease in the demand. On the other hand, it will be increasing. So this is this will be one of the uh, good area to focus in uh, developing a professional career, particularly medical science and related technology and management. It can be uh, uh, it can be uh, uh, medical science or medical profession as such and or associated programs like mobile, that is digital health, like uh, healthcare management, pharmaceutical technology, all these things. So pharmaceutical technology, pharmaceutical science, then uh, all this, um, uh, this pharmacovigilance, pharma analytics, healthcare management, hospital management, biomedical engineering, all these things that, that will be 
uh, that will be continued to you know this uh, uh, continue to be considered as subjects of demand and better avenues for career development so this is one thing second is as this in this situation most of us are almost all of us are being compelled to work in a remote work fashion and uh, many professional organizations they are they are also advising their employees to work from their home here at our system also in education also we are encouraging this uh, digital education online education and remotely accessed education system and therefore all these businesses particularly in e domain that will be uh, that has already started to ups, uh, you know this um, to have more demand and this demand will be more and more there is another aspect of it actually the industry was shifting towards industry 4.0 and the basic feature of industry 4.0 was automation analytics and remote work process this covid 19 related pandemic scenario that has accelerated this process in education i can say the many people many senior uh, academician they were not so comfortable with the use of technology but now the op- there is no such option there is no other option left so uh, comfortability with technology needs to be developed we need to use more and more technology for delivery of this education system for continuation of this education system issues are there there are different issues there are issues of internet connectivity there are issues of uh, you know this uh, people who do not have access to hardware and all these things but still at this moment this is one of the formidable option for continuation of our education programs and we can see uh, in our society also the changes was happening in uh, in in uh, doing many practices uh, through this digital platform for example this uh, this emergence of organization like uber ola amazon netflix this is the uh, this uh, signature or this is the evidence for all these things and we were not uh, this e wallet paytm use of this e wallet all these things even one decade before even 6 to 7 years before this was this uh, this culture was not prominent but now this has become a significant part of our culture using all these uh, digital digitally offered services and therefore career option in these areas or programs education programs in this area for development of more and more professionals now will be uh, will be a, will be one of the uh, focus of our professional education program therefore digital marketing e commerce then uh, e educations or digital educations then all sorts of this uh, you know this uh, uh, then uh, uh, management this cloud based you know learning all this thing cloud is going to cloud technology is going to take the front seat in the present context so all this cloud based technology this management of all these things programs on this uh, on on this areas professional development of professional in this area and uh, development of career in this area different types of startups different types of businesses this will uh, this will happen here and this will be our our also for, for not only us for different professional institutes and professional academic uh, program uh, uh, sar- program service uh, these uh, who are offering these types of programs for them it will be one of the major aspect so this is one thing and then data security as large numbers of you know this data will be there at cloud and large number of data will be at digital media so security of this data that is going to be important so importance of cyber security network security data security these are going to be uh, going to be of paramount importance and there a large number of professional will be required and we need to design develop programs for that besides this other area now we can see at this right point of time as the disruption has taken place in every sphere and we need to uh, um, we need to uh, stabilize further or reform further the entire scenario this is the emergence of knowledge based micro entrepreneurship probably the situation is similar to japan 
what happened after the second world war when the country was devastated then electronics become one of the you know this home based you know, industry here also you see this movement will be restricted migration will be restricted import of items from different countries will be restricted large organizations they will be more and more automated so therefore in our country what is the advantage our the advantage of countries we are blessed with different you know this natural uh, resources and human resources now here the the scope and the uh, possibility of developing knowledge based entrepreneurship based on local resources at local areas this possibility will be more and more viable and formidable we need to encourage that and there uh, if we can develop these sort of ecosystems providing right sort of knowledge right sort of you know this skill right sort of attitude and developing right sort of ecosystems then the economy can take you know this um, again a, a turn in near future so this is this is one of the this is one of the uh, mandate uh, for our government also central government also Uh, giving lots of encouragement in micro entrepreneurship knowledge based entrepreneurship entrepreneurship based on natural products entrepreneurship based on digital products entrepreneurship based on different sorts of you know this natural resources which are available so we have to focus on this so and 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 in these areas we need to develop already there are certain programs we need to focus particularly to make more differentiation uh, more you know this uh, uh, visible these programs and more more affordable more you know this uh, acceptable to the students so this is the this is the uh, another thing there will be steady market market for there will be for uh, other subjects like food technology uh, for entertainment entertainment also you know this digital entertainment all these things home this entertainment uh, home based entertainment digital entertainment because you can see the emergence of ott platforms virtual reality augmented reality these are uh this this was there even uh, uh, we were working on that because we are foreseeing that this is going to disrupt you know this academics entertainment and other scenario all this uh, emerging technology now we are realizing so this is a reality now and we need to focus on this and we need to adopt these sorts of technologies to empower our next generation uh, youngsters because these are our young minds these are our demographic dividend now uh, in the what i can see uh by 2024 it was supposed to change the inter practices particularly this uh, industry and all these things and this covid 19 into scenario uh, uh they created a situation the transformation needs to take place at uh, much before time because uh, now i can force by 2021 22 we have to change everything we, we cannot wait for 2024 25 uh, to uh, to uh, catch up with the in uh, global economy or to uh, you know this uh, take our economy further ahead so these are the uh, different things which uh, i can uh, let let me uh, again uh, conclude this thing in this way so our businesses in uh, based on our natural resources based on our intellectual resources like uh, natural products like digital products like all other natural resources available based on that our curriculum and programs and training programs and skill programs still imparting program needs to be developed number one number two more focus will be digital based technologies processes education number three healthcare and pharmaceutical based products and processes uh, particularly technology management science and all these things and with this i can see that the government is working for development of this digital infrastructure in the entire india maybe by this process it needs to be accelerated further so hopefully uh, this is uh, this inter you know this internet penetrate all these things may be completed within one or two years and by that time we will be able to continue or all these things and one of the important culture will be more and more you know these practices uh, will be taking place from home uh, this uh, workplace this campus colleges and all these things that will be there but their role will be different role of uh, teachers is going to be transformed role of teachers is going to be more uh, facilitator or mentor on these things there are two aspects one is 
technical, mechanical aspects like technology, knowledge, and all these things. And there are other aspects that is human aspects. Human aspects, human being, always a social animal. We need, we need to socialize. We need to interact uh, with uh, with uh, uh, our uh, colleagues, our friends, our relatives, and for that, for that social touch, for that human touch, for development of motivation, inspiration, all this inner strength, all this inner quality. We need some human touch and human guidance, mentoring. Uh, we need the encouragement, and there the role of teacher will move on that. But for the knowledge, skill, training, technical aspects, and all other domains, there will be enough resources available. There are available at internet, and there will be there there will be a culture of self development from all these resources because the time has come. Already it has been preached that time has come for learning, unlearning, and relearning, self learning. Continuous lifelong learning, learning at any place, learning at at your place, learning at your pace. So all these are going to be true, going to be followed, but without undermining the importance of human touch, without the undermining the importance of uh, you know these interactions or uh, getting these uh, affections, care, and all these things from faculties, teachers, parents, which is all these things. So in this way, we are like, we are thinking that ecosystem will develop. And by 2020 to 23, there will be an upsurge in the. Thank you.